to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. What is up? 365 peeps. It has been a long time. But we're back in the game, and that game is vlogging. I'm also back in the hair game, as you can see. The mane is getting a little warm. So we've run into a bit of a problem. Mom told me she was gonna leave her bank card so that I could like go down and get my hair cut. And I don't think she did. Oh frick. Yeah, mom. Uh, um, did you leave the bank card? Alright, so change of plans. Mum forgot to leave the bank card, but I have a few other things left to do today, some for her, some for me. So, um, what I'm actually going to do now is I have to bike all the way out to work. Um, I have to bike all the way out to her work, get the car, put my bike in the back of the car now, um, and then. Um, then bring it back, and then I can have the car to go to get my haircut and stuff. Intermission. That black table you said my room, this is what it looks like now. I was halfway up the road when I realized, wait a sec, you don't have any bloody tools to take my front tire off. So, Back, get my wrench. That also means I have to take my book bag. Bank card and the keys. Which will help unlock it. Now. <laughs> That's where my bike has to go. Okay, I'll fit it in the trunk. Away we go. What's up, yo? We gotta get any closer to here. Headed out with the boys. Let's get down. This is gonna be a good day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I get up at four, I was wide awake. So guys, we passed wherever the heck we're trying to get. We don't really know. But, uh, look at this. Oh, a couple of water. 
and then the sun coming up. So we're just gonna stop for a little Instagram mission. So far so good. No one's falling asleep yet. Maybe here and there. We're attempting to find the right trail. So we're just kinda scrolling around. All right, we think we found a trail. We found a trail. One more day can make it. Yeah, this could be a fun. So we're here in the woods. There isn't really a clear trail, so. We're just kind of walking and hoping for the best. Well, Dad's walking, we're following him. How you doing? Being a guy who gets tired coming up from the basement, this is a little bit more than that. And look what we came to. The old railway. Well, oh, hope the train come in we can get a ride. A dream. Jump off when you get up there. <laughs> <laughs> a dream come true. Oh my god, look at it. Yeah, that's sketchy. Go for it. <laughs> I'd make fun of, of you if I could do it myself. We have stopped for a little bit of a break. Isaiah is, you know, snap, snap, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, Braden has been classified as the first man down. He twisted his ankle a little bit. So we're just, uh, it's not swelling or changing color or anything. So we assume that everything's going to be okay with it. However, uh, we are way, way up from the car, and it's a steep, steep decline over rough terrain on the way back. It's not an actual trail, as I think we've made clear. Um, but wicked, excellent hiking, beautiful. Lovely foliage all around. A bit of a steep incline coming up here, a little bit of rough terrain, hence the twisted ankle of Braidor. I figured I would be the first man down, but uh, it was the Braidor. Way to go, way to go Braidor. Where <laughs> are 7.30, Braden's able to stand, and we'll take a few steps, so we're going to start our journey back down the hill, but we're going to take our time, his ankle's bothering him, so. So it was about an hour hike up to where we are, so we'll see how long it takes to get back down. This way, you fall, I break your wrist too. So guys, we're at this, right before the train tracks, and the water goes underneath the train tracks through this cave, which goes down quite far. It's thick black, I don't even know how far it actually goes down. Back in the train track. How you doing? Good. You alright? Yeah. That's the same sharp pain every time you step? Yeah. But it's not changing? No. Nope. We're good. We're on the other side of the tracks, and this is where.
this is where uh, the water comes out. So I'm not going to go any closer because I don't want to fall in, but that's where it comes out. And I'm at a part that's not even very high, and yeah, so that goes up pretty high. It doesn't look like it on the camera, but it's, about how many feet would you say that is from the edge to the bottom? I don't know, that'd be like what, 20, 20 30 feet? At least 30 feet. Right? Yeah, so from there to there is at least 30 feet. And it doesn't look like it on this, but I could walk in that cave and not duck and put my hands up. So that just kind of goes to show. It took us exactly an hour to come back down. Which is pretty good. Yeah, pictures and all. We stopped and for a photo shoot. And... That's good. Exactly one hour coming back down. Back to the car. Sitting around with the old man, the little bro. Eating some sausage. Pit stop at the little park, some Instagrams. Mosquitoes are eating me alive right now. Nice sight, too. So, guys, it is Saturday night. Um, wicked day. Um, hiking. That's so much fun. We didn't do anything for the rest of the day. Actually, me. Dad and Braden went down and had a nap as soon as they got home. And then I had one later on in the day and got up at like 5.30ish. Um, so I'm headed to bed. But I'll check you guys in the morning. Which will be like great now. So, here in a sec. As soon as I cut the video. Just that little button right below this size A. Just click. There you go. Just like that this morning. Um, got my hair did, got my clothes ready, pretty much all my stuff packed for the day, um, yeah, headed off, we're going to camp for Sunday morning church service, so down two hours for a church service, we're going to Peggy's Cove, and then, uh, last time, yeah, sure, um, fish and chips on the way home. It's gonna be a good day. <clears throat> and see. <laughs> we are at Peggy's Cove <clears throat> and I had both hands on the wheel so we couldn't vlog on the way here. Um, that's actually kind of a lie. I did have both hands on the wheel but I never thought to vlog. Trying to get back into it. We uh are at Peggy's Cove and it's very very windy so can't really do any vlogging outside but uh, it's a beautiful beautiful day and uh, I'm incredibly homesick and there's a lady right here with a real sweet motorbike but she's on the phone and now she turned around to look at us so um, now we're going to uh, well we're going to check out a little bit more of Peggy's Cove maybe stop at another sport or two I'd like to get some get Isaiah to get some photographs down by one of the docks but yes we are at Peggy's Cove and yes we stayed off the black rocks what nice down here. It's not windy. this to me makes me so homesick for Newfoundland this is just like the outports and Mass Town Market. <laughs> wow, I'm full. Is there, are you full? Are you too full for ice cream? 
Have you ever been too full for ice cream? Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. That is one single scoop after I've had my tongue all over it. So, Amherst, this is why people drive to Mass Town. You could, you could beat this. You could do it, I believe in you. You just won't, because I believe in you in that way as well. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this ice cream. It's the only time that the Richardsons are quiet. We are a quiet bunch when there's a feed going on. So now we are home and uh, it is 9.30 on uh, Sunday night and we're home. Had a great, great day. Had a uh, fantastic weekend actually. Right from hiking on uh, Saturday morning. <sighs> I can't believe we lived through that. <laughs> I can't believe I lived through it. Anyways, uh, excellent weekend spent with uh, family good weekend with my boys and this uh, this summer my goal my main goal is to spend more time and to spend better time with my uh, my boys so that when we're together we're spending it uh, more wisely anyways we have talk it Tuesday coming up I think I'm hoping fingers crossed that the first one will be this week anyways we are going to close this vlog out. Welcome back. Um, we're gonna close this vlog out. So until next time, turn that frown upside down. Cheers.